Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'll be looking at the recently purchased uh, ferry wagon from Dapol. Code is 2F022007 and this is the one of the variants with the white stripe cargo wagon titles as the arrows suggest. Great Britain one way content and the other way they were used for uh, as ferry wagons between the UK and mainland Europe but uh, there have been reports of them being used on internal services when they weren't needed um, for crossings over to Europe so I managed to get two of these because the price was, was quite good and uh, I would rather have two or more rather than just the one I don't want it to feel lonely. They're pretty much the same. There's no difference between the two. Same code. Um, they do come in other variants as well. This is the white stripe version. There is also a yellow stripe with bigger cargo wagon titles. And um, um, there is also a, another version that's ready weathered. But that was that done uh, in a very limited edition. Uh, limited uh, run for the Engage Society, so I'm not going to bother with that. I don't think I'm ever going to get my hands on one of those. Um, so I'm just going to take this out of the way. It's a very nice plastic case with a nice plastic cover, and then you have a plastic film, see through film. I'm going to pop those here. Just have a quick look at uh, there's also a small baggie on top here. Let's just try to get in, get this out. It's better if it comes out like that. So let's take it out. So that's the double bogey Danzas Danzas inspired ferry wagon. They're quite long. I mean, they were long um, by those time standards. I mean, these first came out in 1977. So even by by those days' uh, standards, uh, these were huge, like ridiculously long, double bogeyed uh, ferry wagons. Um, as I said, they came out in 1977. So uh, they were in use... Uh, until roughly 2005, but I guess you can still, if you're lucky, you might still see one or two around. I mentioned the uh, the year it came out because if your layout is focused on a specific era, this one basically covers era uh, eras seven to nine, so seven, eight, and nine, uh, with era seven being seven, 1971 to 1982, uh, hence 1977 it covers that era. And then era eight, 1982 to 1994, and then era nine is 1995 to 2005. So if your layout is based, covers these eras, um, this this ferry wagon is is um, a perfect addition to your layout. Um, and this is the first time I'm having a look at it, but. Uh, the level of detail is, is 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 astonishing. It's 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 a lovely piece of uh, work from uh, from Dapol, especially since uh, it's Engage, which is uh, um, quite a small scale, as you know. But uh, even so, the level of detail is just ridiculous. I mean, the the, the writing, the stickers, um, is is so accurate. Uh, you could probably I can't zoom in that uh, that far, but they've done a marvelous job. Um, I think this this is uh, uh, an amazing piece of uh, craftsmanship from Dapol. Even the side here, you see, there's loads of uh, detail even there. So. Let's try to zoom in here. Yeah. The roof, the underside, again, quite a lot of detail under that as well. The only thing that worries me is if you see these 
these little hooks and um, these little elements here might actually stop the bogey from moving might catch on that but we'll uh, we'll have to see <clears throat> how this this uh, wagon actually turns judging by its length I think it will be a problem on, on tight turns I mean I don't think I know for a fact uh, it, it will cause problems if you're if you tend to turn if your track is laid out in a very tight turn let's try to put it there so this is a bit of flexi track I'm gonna try to see there's already that's that's already a bit of a struggle let me try to bend it a little bit more see the overhang there is just it's just huge but uh, so yeah this is definitely one of those wagons that requires a little bit of careful planning with your truck also because uh, once you uh, you add another another one behind it or next to it or in front of it uh, you might actually have uh, some problems uh, where the the buffers actually touch and you don't want that uh, to happen um, you have extra dapple kindly supplies you with uh, an extra set of uh, couplings and so the ones the ones you have uh, ready fitted are the rapido um, couplers and you have the knuckle type couplers supplied in two variants short and and long well slightly longer so if you wanna I wouldn't use the short ones because you'll have the same problem the buffers will come too close to each other and once you add the second the second wagon I'm just gonna try to take the other one out to see how it works so once you've added the second one let's put the second one down here so that's that I don't know if you can see but they're already quite close to each other so in a, in a tight turn they might actually like have issues with buffer uh, buffer locking but I think I think that ball has done an amazing job with these um, I'm gonna try to buy some more I will definitely try to own at least like between four and six or maybe more we'll see but uh, when it comes to laying these on a, on a <clears throat> on a layout I will have to make sure this will be on a very wide stretch of uh, track I don't think they will fare well with like uh, a small shunting yard where there's a lot of uh, twists and turns but we'll see we'll see I have potential and just to give you a little bit of a of a an idea how how big they are there is a class 08 shunter diesel shunter so just size comparison that's just two of them and uh, that's the uh, difference in size between the actual cargo wagon and uh, um, like this diesel shunter um, the uh, the length of the of each wagon is in millimeters it's uh, 146 so 14.6 centimeters and they are 1.7 centimeters wide so that's 17 millimeters wide um, like I said this this is this is an amazing uh, job that they've done with these um, the price was uh, decent as well you can still find them I'm gonna try to mix them up with some yellow branded cargo wagons and try to find the other ones but um, 
uh, yeah, uh, until I get my layout uh, figured out, uh, I'm gonna focus on, on just buying more stuff. This is one of the uh, purchases that uh, came in and was delivered uh, yesterday. I'm very happy with the uh, with the result. I mean, they are they are amazing. They are amazing. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want them clean like that. All the photos I've seen on the internet um, have them quite dirty, so a little bit of weathering will be required. Um, I might do one or two in the very like heavily weathered version, but until until then, until then, they will have to they will have to stay like this in this mint condition. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, there's not much else to say except for the fact that they're they're they, they it's it's an artwork. It's a piece of artwork. The, the level of detail is astonishing for N scale or N gauge. Um, I can only imagine what they've done if they've done these in double O gauge. Um, they must look like astonishingly accurate. Uh, I mean, uh, even for this size, they 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 the level of I, it just goes to show how far we've come with. Uh, um, modeling these uh, these little beauties, and um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to you know, to uh, get some more, like I said, and once uh, the layout is uh, done or at least started, I'm gonna give you a better view of how they run on the track, and uh, yeah. Uh, I would I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants uh, to recreate uh, anything between era seven and nine. Uh, I think they would they would they're great additions. I mean this these uh, now I regret not buying only two. Uh, I should have bought more, but I'm gonna get back to the seller and try to order some more. Uh, until my next video, when I will try to look at other. Engage uh, other locomotives or or wagons. Uh, stay safe, and you know what to do in terms of subscribing, liking the video, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.